This is SAT test 8, calculator question number 26, asking you to critique or interpret a survey. In these questions, you have to read very carefully, and they often take longer than other SAT questions that are more computational. To, to determine the mean number of children per household in the community, Tabitha surveyed 20 families at a playground. For the 20 families surveyed, the mean number of children per household was 2.4. Which of the following statements must be true? Choice A, the mean number of children per household in the community is 2.4. First, even a, in a perfect survey, your estimate from a sample is not guaranteed to exactly match the value for the entire population for that, so that's wrong. Second, if there's a flaw in the survey, then the number is, you can't be confident it will even be near 2.4. What about choice B? A determination about the mean number of children per household in the community should, be, should not be made because the sample size is too small. Generally, sample sizes of 20 are sufficient for most purposes, and certainly for most purposes on an SAT question. The AP exam statistics may have more sophisticated questions where a sample size 20 is not sufficient but that's certainly not an issue for any SAT question. Choice C, the sampling method is flawed and may produce a biased estimate of the mean number of children per household in the community. To produce an accurate estimate, you would want your sample to be representative of the community if you want the mean number of children per household in the community. Since we're not sampling a representative sample, it's reasonable to infer that those at a playground are more likely to have children than the typical household and possibly even more children than the typical household. So this sampling met method is flawed and this is probably the correct answer, but always check all your choices, in, especially when interpreting surveys and experiments. Choice D, the sampling method is not flawed and is likely to produce an unbiased estimate of the mean number of children per household in the community. We just rejected that choice because we're sampling for number of children at a playground where you expect more children, or certainly at least a non-representative number of children. So of these choices, choice C is a reasonable interpretation of the survey, and the other choices are seriously flawed because the survey sample is not representative of the entire community. Come back soon for my next SAT math video. With math, there's always more.